Operations and maintenance within offshore wind parks consist not only of routine maintenance, but the occasional main component replacement. When a main component needs to be replaced, VESTA Special Projects team organizes the entire event from beginning to end. We start with the planning phase, where seabed analysis, lifting procedures, all the technical details that will be required to perform this job are carefully planned strategically. Once we reach the ending of the planning phase, we go to a kickoff meeting. The kickoff meeting involves everybody that has an active role in the execution of the project. The goal of the kickoff meeting is to gain consensus that the job can be done properly and safely, and everybody agrees we now have approval to proceed. With the approval to proceed, we step into the execution phase of the project. Execution phase begins with mobilization. Mobilization consists of loading of the components and all the gear necessary for the job, as well as sea fastening, so everything is securely fastened to deck and ready for transit at sea. Now, we're ready for transport to the offshore wind park. When we reach the wind park, we'll wait for permission in order to enter the wind park and pull up alongside the tower where the main component will be replaced. The ship will have to wait for just the right wave conditions so they're able to lower their legs to within one meter of the seabed. They have to get to that one meter where they can then drop the legs, touch the seabed floor without being moved up and down too much. Once they've made good solid contact with the seabed floor, they go through two stages of preload and then they jack up to the actual height where we're able to access the tower. All the way through the execution phase of the project, each task begins with the toolbox talk. When the crew's meeting for a toolbox talk, they are discussing things like risk assessment and method statement. Risk assessment is where they identify all the risks involved with this particular procedure they're about to perform. Things like awkward lifts and heavy lifts. Uh, they're working in dark, uh, late at night sometimes. It's important that, that the groove understand each step that's going to happen throughout the lift and placement of the main component. Once they've understood the methods and the risks, each person in the toolbox talk signs a document acknowledging this, and then they begin the process. In order to change a blade on a wind turbine at sea, we have to, of course, remove a damaged blade and make ready to put a new blade on. Now, in this case, we have a blade that's going to be replaced that has lost a lot of mass. We don't exactly know how much mass has been lost. When the crane is attached to it, the crew's actually going to float the blade slightly before it's removed from the nacelle. The crane operator can then tell the, the crew at the top of the nacelle the approximate weight of the blade. That will let them know how they can adjust the T-yoke in this case and prepare to remove the blade from the tower and set it down on the deck. Once that blade has been set down, they'll begin the process of taking the new blade up. And you'll notice they are using tag lines these tag lines allow the crew to carefully control the position of the blade in the air as it's hanging from the crane. And as it reaches the nacelle high up in the air, the crew communicates by radio, telling the crane operator precisely how to yaw the crane and ease the blade into place. Another main component we sometimes see being replaced is a gearbox. We have a 16 to 17 ton gearbox and cooling system to be exchanged. Because this is a high voltage work environment, the technicians will follow a written procedure that specifically outlines all the steps necessary to execute this task safely. They'll de-energize the tower, remove the roof from the nacelle, remove and lower the damaged cooling system and gearbox. Then they'll clean and prepare the nacelle and drivetrain for the new equipment. Before lifting, the new gearbox needs to be hung at a specific degree of pitch in order to align with the drivetrain and the nacelle. And that's exactly six degrees for this particular gearbox. Lowering the gearbox into the nacelle takes 100% accuracy between the crane operator, the lift supervisor, and the technicians in the nacelle. They only have a couple millimeters of tolerance in order to fit the new equipment perfectly in place. There are three, sometimes four technicians working together inside the limited space of the nacelle. And don't forget, they're doing this 60 to 100 meters above the sea with changing winds, and in this case, in the middle of the night. After each task is completed, the team reassembles as a follow-up to the toolbox talk. They debrief discussing the procedures they've just completed and they look for opportunities to optimize the process in the future.